Hey class, let's go ahead and do some simplifying of algebraic expressions. First, we got to use the distributive property. This one right here, I have a, a 2 that needs to go to the 5 and to the t, and this t. So before I can combine like terms, I got to distribute first. Let's make it happen here. Okay, so after I distribute, okay, well the 7t, there's no, there's no need to distribute anything there, so that can just stay. Okay, but if I give a t a two to the five, that's going to be a ten, and then I give a two to the t, that's going to be two t. Okay, so that's after I distribute into the parentheses, and lastly, I have nine t plus ten. after both first distributing right, and then combining like terms. So I start off with this expression where there's all these parentheses and numbers and letters and whatnot, like two versions of t and such. And now it's just two simple terms. So we've done a good thing here. We've simplified this expression. Let's do the same thing for this next one. This time I have to distribute 4 to 3x and 5 and also 12 to 5x and 3. So what's going to happen is I'm going to distribute 4 to the 3x. That's going to be 12x. And then I'm taking away 4 given to 5. That's going to be 20. And then I'm going to add 12 given to 5x. That's going to be 60x. And then I'm taking away from that 12 given to 3. That's 36. Okay, and then so then I've got 12x and 60 more x's. That would be 72x's. Right, 12x plus 60x. So I've got the x together. Then I'm taking away 20. Then I'm taking away 36 more. So I should be taking away 56 total. Okay, so once again, we've done good here. We've uh, we've taken a big long expression and turned it to just it's just two terms. Oops, almost right here. Right back to where I was. I've turned it into just two terms. Okay, let me go ahead and highlight, like, do, just getting the correct answers here. Okay, so the correct answers are in smaller letters now. Let's take a look at another couple examples. Okay, this time I'm going to give 2x to negative x, and then 2x to 6. I'm going to give 3 to x, and also 3 to, to the 1. So when that happens, I do the 2x. 2x times a negative x, that's going to be a negative, because I'm going to a, a positive times a negative. That's a negative 2x, and then, since I'm doing an x times an x, it needs to be squared. Okay, so, if I do an x times an x, anytime you multiply something times itself, you wind up uh, raised to the second power. You wind up squaring that factor. Next, I've got 2x times 6. That's going to be 12x. Then i got 3 times x. And then I'm taking away 1 times 3. All right. Next, lastly here, i got to combine up my x squareds, my x's, and my 1's. Okay, so make a little room here. Okay, so then, see, I can't combine x squareds and x's. They're not the same thing, so I'll just leave that there just like that. Minus 2x squared. Okay, I'll make that squared. And then, in terms of my x's here, I've got 12x plus 3x. That should be 15x's. And lastly, I'm taking away 3. So I'll just go ahead and leave that taking away 3 right there. Alright, so once again, right, I distributed whatever was outside the parentheses into the parentheses, and then I could combine like terms. Down here, I'm going to give a negative 5 to an x, and a negative 5 to a 6y. Now, this right here, there's nothing outside the parentheses, so there's really nothing to distribute, so I can just leave it alone as it is. Okay, so when that happens, the first thing I'll give, I'll give a negative 5 to an x. So negative, time, negative 5 times x is just negative 5x. Okay, and I'm giving a negative 5 to that 
uh, 6y, that's going to be a negative 30y, but if I'm subtracting a negative, guess what, that's adding, ladies and gentlemen. So a negative 5 given to a, a negative 6y is a positive 30y, or plus 30y. Okay, and then, like we said down here, there's nothing to distribute here, so I'll just carry down the 6y. Oops, wait a minute. And then, plus x. I just carry those down, and then lastly, I'm subtracting 16. All right. I'm going to finish this up. To finish this up, let's get the like terms together here. I've got negative 5x here. And then I've got an x here, okay, so a negative 5x plus an x. It's not going to be negative 5x squared because I'm just adding them here. It's going to be a negative 4x. Negative 5 plus x is a negative 4x, right? If, if you need to help, you, if it helps you to think about it this way, imagine there's a 1 right there in front of that x. What's negative 5 plus 1? It's negative 4. Another way to look at it is if I have 5 negative x's and I put down 1 positive x, Right, positive and negatives cancel each other out, so instead of having five negative x's, I now have four negative x's. Okay, and next I've got myself some y's. I've got 30 y's plus six more y's. That's going to be 36 y's. Makes sense. And then lastly, I've taken away 16, so I'll just carry that on down here. Minus 16. Oops, a little space there. It's all good, huh? Okay, two more. Alright, I'm going to give a 7 to 2x and a 7 to 5y. And this right here, I'm not, I'm not really giving anything, but that little subtraction sign outside the parentheses means I'm taking away this x, and I'm taking away the subtracting of 5y. So watch what happens with that. That's a little different here. Watch what happens here. First of all, let's give 7 to 2x. 7 times 2x would be 14x. And then I'm adding that. Uh, 7 times the 5y, that should be 35y. Okay, and like we said, up here we're taking away what's inside these parentheses, so I'm taking away both an x. Oops, I got my subtraction. Taking away an x. And then I'm taking away the subtracting of 5y. What happens when you subtract a negative, folks? It becomes adding. So remember, subtracting is adding the opposite. So we have ourselves plus 5y for that. Okay, even though it says subtracting right there, because I'm subtracting what's outside these parentheses, that means I'm subtracting the subtraction. In other words, I'm subtracting a negative. Taking away, taking away, if you will. So it becomes adding. All right, let's get the x's and y's together. I got 14x take away an x. That's 13x's. I got 35y's plus 5 more y's grand total of 40 y's. All right, now look at what we start off with right here. Look what our final answer is. So you got to admit, that's, that's definitely easier to work with than all this up here, right? No more parentheses. Instead of having four terms and then something outside parentheses and everything else, I just have two basic terms right here. Oops, I should separate them. Yeah, I'm adding them. Okay. Last one. We'll get four to the two. That's an eight. I'll get four... Uh, to the 3x. Instead of taking away 3x, I'm taking away 12x then. Oops, x, not s. Okay. Uh, okay, now here I'm taking away 5 times 6. So that's taking away that's taking away 30. Okay, and then I'm also taking away 5 times x. So that's taking away 5x. So if you got a negative 5 to that positive x, that's a negative 5x. Okay, last but not least, let's get my, my letters and numbers together here. I'm taking away 12x, taking away 5 more x's. That should be a negative 17x. Here I got 8, and here I'm taking away 30. I'm taking away 22. Right, I'm taking away, uh, I'm taking away more, I start off with 8. Right here, if I take away 30 from 8, I'm going up in the negative territory. I have negative 22. And that is the magic of distributing and then simplifying by combining like terms. Enjoy.